Let's connect with Mr. Ike Balan, Man Managing Director and Chief Executive, Executive Officer of Petronet LNG. Mr. Balan, this is Nikunj Dalmia from the Mumbai studio. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Let's first start with uh, what is happening morning, to Nikunj. the you know, LNG demand, both local demand and then global demand. Well, I think uh, uh, about a year and a half we had taken a, a, a lot of analysis on the long term, short term, medium term uh, gas demand supply perspective for the country and the projections were there that um, the demand is going to grow quite a bit and uh, the domestic gas uh, production is not been able to keep pace with the demand. So the, the gap, uh, demand supply gap is only increasing. And we have seen in the last one year the trends have been something similar actually on that. So in our opinion uh, and as per the study done by several uh, you know, consultants and all the companies that are engaged in the gas business, in about five years time the gas demand is going to be perhaps doubled. And uh, the, on the supply side, the domestic supply is not really, there is an increase in the domestic supply surely, but perhaps not to the kind of uh, trend towards uh, you know, demand uh, growth. So therefore, the, the important thing is that the gas has to be imported into the country and uh, most probably it would be through the, the LNG way. We have seen that our terminals operating more than 100% capacity and the trends show that we need to create more infrastructure to be able to bring more gas. So I think the demand uh, is growing, uh, uh, growing fast and in the energy mix also if you see, the gas has in the last three years increased from about 9% to around 11% in the energy mix and this is expected to go to approximately 20% by 2015 and this is the fastest growing uh, energy source within the energy mix. So I think the, the demand would remain robust in, in coming years. Mr. Valian, you've also arrived upon the date of commissioning of the Kochi terminal. Uh, we understand that almost all the work is over and the test operations are going on. If you could yes. detail what's the status currently? Well, uh, you are right. The, the Kochi terminal, uh, we are 99% uh, complete, I would say. And um, the final uh, testing of the equipment uh, before the, what do you call it, hydrocarbon uh, in, that means when we start taking LNG, uh, that process is going on. Um, uh, we hope that in, in coming month, month and a half, we should be completing all the, this kind of analysis. But we need to synchronize the commissioning part with the pipeline connectivity uh, to the nearby consumers. And these pipelines are being laid by Gale and there are two phases to it. The first phase would uh, uh, sort of connect about four or five nearby uh, consumers like the refinery, the uh, fertilizer and uh, chemicals Travancore, there is a power plant, there are some other chemical companies. This is about 50 kilometers of the pipeline. And we hope that this may be commissioned uh, uh, at the consumer side also because they also need to make changes, uh, changing from the liquid fuels to gas and then make some changes in the, in the process, minor changes. I think they are all going on. It might take about um, two to three months time in our expectation. But uh, the major connectivity of phase two uh, is from Kochi to Bangalore and Kochi to Mangalore. That is uh, taking time and we are told uh, that this might be complete by next year end, 2013 end. And uh, if that is so, then our you know, utilization uh, of the terminal will go up only to that higher level once the phase two is completed. But phase one, we hope that by uh, maybe New Year time, uh, we should be looking at commissioning. And commissioning we mean by actual send out of gas from the terminal. Mm. So because of commissioning of phase one, what will happen to your revenue and what will happen to your profitability? How much top line will you add, add up uh, every quarter and how much bottom line will you add in every quarter? Well, for any terminal, like we had the same experience at the Hage as well, it takes time to ramp up the volumes, you know. Uh, slowly it would come to higher volumes. And uh, uh, at Kochi also, we'll perhaps have a similar situation. The phase one would mean that uh, we might ramp it up in about a year's time to about a million uh, ton uh, per annum or maybe million and a half, 1.5 million ton. Uh, per annum that kind of volumes 
but uh, as I said, uh, and that should be all right to sustain and grow. But I think uh, we are looking at um, four to five million ton capacity utilization uh, by uh, 2013 right. end. That is the phase two of the pipeline Mr. Balan, completion. Mr. Balan, we have to leave it there, sir. Really appreciate your time and thank you for joining us.